Hi, welcome to the eWay CRM Academy series. My name is Ernest, and today we're going to look at how you can manage your sales pipelines inside of eWay CRM Desktop. Let's dive in. So first, we're going to open up the classic desktop version of Outlook for Windows. This is where eWay CRM Desktop runs. As you can see, we are an add-in that adds a ribbon, bringing your CRM modules right here inside of Outlook. Today, we're going to look at managing our sales. Looking here at this email, it looks like I've got an email from a guy named Bob Johnson who's looking for our services and asking for a telephone call. I don't believe I know Bob Johnson, and looking here in the online preview panel, I see that Bob is not yet in my database. How do we get him there? I can come over here to new, and I could add a new deal or add a new contact, and if I'm taking an incoming phone call, that's what I'll have to do where I type everything manually. But when it lives in our inbox, we can save you a couple steps via the right click. Let's right click and you're going to see at the bottom of the right click menu, all of my eWay CRM actions. Maybe we want to punt this, deal with it later in the week. We could convert it to a task. Maybe we wanted to add Bob directly as a contact in our system. Let's convert him to a contact. But because we do want to first put him in our sales pipeline, let's convert this email to a deal. I could also use the buttons here in my preview panel to do the same thing. Let's look at our deal screen here. The first thing to note here is my workflow. This is completely customizable. So whatever stages you have to go from a prospect to a customer, this workflow can be modified to fit your flow. The next thing to note here is gonna be my form. Again, my form is completely customizable. So whatever custom fields you need to add to make sure you're gathering the right information, feel free to build those and add them right here. Um, Looking here at the name, we need your services. That was the subject of the email. Let's simplify it a bit. Let's give it a better name. We'll call it the Bob deal. And we're going to guess his business based on the domain. Bob doesn't work for Outlook. That's just the free email address I'm using. When we figure out where Bob works, we'll fill that in. We can save this. And the next thing to note here are gonna be my tabs. These tabs ensure that everything gets filed in the right spot and you can quickly navigate where you're looking for. A lot of zeros for now, but as we work through this deal, we'll fill a lot of them up. The email tab, you'll see that that email is saved, but the one tab I want to highlight is the hub. The hub is probably going to be where you start most days. This is going to be a snapshot of everything happening within the deal. I can come to the hub and see a chronological history of my journals, my emails, my documents, my tasks, all in one spot. So I guess now's a good time to mention when you save an email inside of eWay CRM, we're saving a full copy of this email. So if you need to come back and reply to it, say next week or next year, even if you've already deleted an Outlook, you can come in here and, and reply. Uh, additionally, maybe one of the sales reps on your team changes. The new guy comes in and he needs to reply to an email sent to his predecessor. No problem. That's allowed here with eWay. All right, looking here at the body of the email, you see that Bob's asking for a telephone call. Let's give him a ring. Let's go to add new journal. Journal is the tool I use for meeting notes, for call notes. Anything, I want that timestamp on it. So again, I get that full chronological history and keep it in order. The type here is going to be a call and the subject will be something simple, call with Bob. I don't type well with an audience. Call with Bob, there we go. And the note, Take some quick notes. As you can see, we had an amazing phone call. Let's keep it simple. $10,000 deal, closing end of month. I need to send a proposal. We'll save this journal. I don't want to forget to send Bob a proposal. So right here on top of the journal, I'm going to add a task. And the task is going to be something simple. Um, build Bob's proposal. We'll set a due date of tomorrow and I'm going to give myself a reminder. So if this hasn't been done by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, Outlook's going to give me a pop-up, very similar to those calendar event pop-ups, letting me know the task is due. I can also delegate it here on the solver field. The solver field is going to give me all of my employees inside of eWay CRM also using the system. In this case, let's delegate this to my colleague, Dan Coates, and we'll hit save. Right now, Dan's getting an email letting him know he's been assigned this task to build Bob's proposal. He wasn't on the telephone call, but it's not a big deal because he can open up this task now. And not only will he see that there's a linked deal that he could open, but he'll also see that there's a linked journal. Opens up the journal, all the notes he needs live right here, and he can now complete the task. 
eWay's fantastic, where one giant spider web where everything connects, allowing you to find everything you need right at your fingertips. Let's close this. Go back to my task for a second. If you guys have ever used Outlook to assign a task to a colleague, you know it's pretty worthless. I would never know when Dan finishes this task. Here in eWay CRM, we're trying to fix that. We're trying to create tasks with accountability. So when Dan solves this, I'm going to get notified. It's also going to live in my task list so I can keep track of all the delegated tasks I've given out. Finally, because I built it, I still own it. So that gives me the ability to come in here and change the due date, reassign it, or mark it complete for him. Full control, full accountability, tasks with oversight, something that Outlook doesn't give you out of the box. Let's close that. And as you can see here in my deal, we're filling it up. We have that journal and that task to go with the email, and they're all visible here in the hub. We can also move Bob to the qualification stage in our workflow because we now know this is a $10,000 deal with an estimated close date of end of month. We'll save this. And the next thing we need to do is get this to the proposal stage. EWA CRM does have a really nice bookkeeping module for this exact purpose of building invoices and proposals. It's more than we're gonna cover today, but I encourage you to watch our other videos on the topic. Today, let's look at how EUA CRM though makes great document management. Perhaps I built this proposal in another piece of software. It's really simple to get that document into EUA. As simple as dragging it from my computer right into the deal and it immediately uploads and gets saved here in the documents tab. And it's also visible in the hub. There it is. You know, very simple, and we're not asking you to store all of your documents here in eWay CRM, but maybe those signed contracts, those active proposals, maybe tech specs or blueprints, whatever your industry, store those needed documents, the things that you always want at your fingertips in the CRM so you can always find them very quickly. So we now need to get this proposal to Bob. I could go to Outlook and send a new email and attach it. I could come over here to add new email and it'll give me an Outlook email with Bob's email address already filled in and I could go add the attachment. Another thought though, you guys live in Outlook, we live in Outlook. So much of your Outlook navigation is done via the right click. EWA CRM is no different. We want this to feel native to Outlook so there's no learning curve. So that, you know, adoption happens quickly. So, you know, as you're working through EWA, I encourage you to right click often. You're gonna find a shortcut most of the time that will make your life a little bit easier. You know, using that tactic here on the proposal, let's right click and you're gonna see one of those options is to send it by email, super simple. And that's gonna give me an Outlook email with Bob's email address filled in already and the document already attached. Doesn't get easier than that. Subject, Bob, give me your thoughts. And I will hit send. So I think this is the coolest feature inside of EUA CRM. It's our automatic email saving. When you have this turned on, all incoming emails from your contacts automatically get saved to the contact. So you have that full communication history at all times without doing any work yourself. Uh, for outgoing emails, we're going to give you this pop-up. This pop-up's letting me know that we recognize that email address and we want to save it into the CRM. Not only do we recognize that it belongs to Bob the contact, but we also recognize that it belongs to the Bob deal. Superior item allows me to link this not just to a contact, but also to a deal or a project. So Bob deal is correct. If Bob and I were working on multiple deals, I could always use the down arrow and file it in the right spot. We can categorize our emails if we want. And another cool feature, we can set a follow-up task. Let's set a task for Monday on this email. So if I haven't heard from Bob by Monday, I have a task to check in on this email that I'm sending him. I'm gonna hit send and save. That email's gonna go out and it's gonna get stored here inside of the CRM. We can move Bob to the proposal stage in the workflow and let's go to this task, build Bob's proposal. Although we've assigned this to Dan, as I said, we own it so we can right click on it for him and mark it complete. And as we can see here in the tasks, we have that new task, Bob, give me your thoughts. This relates to the email, Bob, give me your thoughts. And this is now all automatically saved in the CRM. These are all visible in the hub as well. Speeding through this now, you know, we don't need to waste time. Bob loves the proposal. He signs a contract and he becomes a customer of ours. Go team. Once the, if the deal is for making the sale, 
then our projects module is for delivering that sale. It's more than we're going to cover today, but if there is a handoff to a delivery team or if you now need a new workflow to continue this project now that the sale has been made, eWay does have the ability to convert your deals to projects, bringing over all of that communication. You can also assign a team so everybody on the team is notified as you progress through the project. Um, the one thing I do want to show you here though, and it's not limited just to projects, it lives anywhere that you have workflow, is our automatic tasks. As you work through a workflow, there's always going to be a checklist of things that need to be done at each stage. So, you know, to ensure that none of that falls through the cracks, we can start setting up automated tasks for you. You can see when I went from start to kickoff there, a task was created, schedule the kickoff meeting. So again, something that seems simple, we don't want to overlook it. So create an automated task just to make sure that nothing is lost. We'll right click on that and mark it complete. Um, you know, some real life examples, as I said, this lives everywhere. So this can also work in the sales module. When I send somebody a proposal, I have automated tasks due three days in the future just to check in and make sure, you know, they've had a chance to review it. Six weeks after somebody signs up for eWay, I have an automated task created to check in and make sure they're still happy. This is what you can do with automated tasks, and it's really fantastic. Let's leave the deal for a second and open up Bob the Contact. Today's meeting isn't about contacts and companies, but I do want to show you now that Bob, you know, all the work we've done with Bob in the deal and the project has followed him here to the contact. Everything links together. My open deals with Bob, all of my deals with Bob are visible now in the deals tab and all of my projects with Bob are visible in the projects tab. So I can find anything I need wherever I go. Very, very cool stuff. Let's briefly now look at pipelines and how we manage our deals, visualize our deals inside of eWay. Whenever you click on a module, we're going to give you, we call them grid reports, but what they are are essentially dashboards. Looking here, I'm looking at my pipeline inside of eWay CRM. I'm looking at my deals based on their status. So now I can see, you know, do I have a next step? Do I have a task or a calendar event? Do I have a last activity? When was the last email or journal I had? We can look at dollars. We can look at estimated close dates and we can look at owners. So this is one of the pre-built reports we give you for a simple, simple pipeline for you know, sales manager pipeline. We give you a handful, as I mentioned, we give you a handful of pre-built reports. Some of them are a bit generic, but that's because our job is to appeal to every industry on earth. The cool news is though, that you can start creating your own. Let's go back to my default view and let's scroll over to, I don't know, estimated close date. Let's right click there and group by this column. And now I'm looking at my deals by their estimated close date. We can group those by month, so it's a little bit cleaner. I can now see for the month of June, I've got two overdue deals that I need to work through. I've got one overdue deal already this month of July. You know what? Let's also further organize this and let's take status, the workflow stage, and group by that column as well. So now I can look at the status, where things are each month. So for the month of June, I have one deal in the proposal stage and one in the contract stage. This is probably where I need to start my day, calling this overdue contract deal and seeing if we can't revive it. If this is a view I'd want to return to, I can come over here to views, save this view. And then when I save it, I have the choice of keeping it for myself or sharing it with my team. Pretty cool stuff. Build those reports and share them. For those of you coming from different CRM, you might be familiar with Kanban charts or what we call board view. We can offer you that inside of eWay CRM online. While that's not the focus of this video today, I do wanna briefly point out pipelines inside of eWay CRM online. So here I'm visualizing my pipeline in what we call boards. Here I can quickly move my deals through the flow. I can also use this as a one-stop dashboard. I can come over here and I can see all of the journals I have for this deal without ever having to open the deal. I can come over here and I can see, you know, my estimated close dates. I can see if I have, you know, if there were tasks available, documents here, those would also be visible. 
very fun, very easy, very nice way to manage your deals. If you prefer the list view online, we still have that as well. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this helps you get started working with your deals in eWay CRM. We appreciate your time and we hope you check out the rest of our videos. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Cheers.